When you think of the brand Say It, you probably think of hatchbacks and crossovers and maybe SUVs. Well, how about one of these? This is the new Say It Mo, and yes, it's an electric moped because Say It has moved into the world of urban mobility. Now this is a tiny little thing, equivalent to a 125cc petrol engine moped, but it has nine kilowatts or about 12 horsepower, so it's pretty quick. In fact, Say It claims that it can do 0 to 31 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds, which, when you're in central London, like we are now, means you can beat pretty much everything barring proper sports bikes away from the traffic lights. It's a real good fun thing to ride in the city centre, and it's got loads of cool little things on it, which we're going to point out to you right now. All right, so starting with the main thing, which of course is the thing that powers it, if I just maneuver it around this way, handily is quite light to move. You can actually maneuver it with the motor, of course, and in reverse as well, but I'm not with my helmet at the moment, so let me just do it this way. So, this is the battery pack down here. To get that battery out, you have to open the big, quite substantial boot here by pulling both of these levers. And now this is open, but one of the annoying quirks of this thing that I found is that you have to open the boot with it on the side stand, but then you have to get it off the side stand and move it onto the rear double stand in order for it to let you take the battery out. So that now should be unlocked. There we are. So now it comes out like a suitcase, albeit a 40 kilogram suitcase. I'm not sure many airlines would take this on their plane, but it does come with wheels and you can maneuver it around like this. So long as you're only moving it around to a ground floor location, you can get it plugged in pretty much anywhere as long as you've got a plug, which of course, it does come with and it is as simple as sticking the plug into the back of this plugging it into your domestic three pin and turning it on you don't have to remove this battery if you want to charge it on the other side there is an access port there which accesses the back of the battery here so you can just plug it in as well with the moped and battery together but you do have to have an exterior three pin plug so it's probably not going to be ideal for people who live in top floor flats or second floor flats like i do um, but anyone who's got a ground floor access it's pretty nifty this, look at that, so easy to do, he says. <laughs> you get the hang of it. And as I said, there's loads of storage space in this compartment here. There's room for two helmets. I've tested it as well. I've got mine up here. I had another helmet in here earlier and it was fine. And I had a few things tucked under my helmet. It's really, really quite handy. And that's locked on as well. In fact, there's more features to talk about which relate to how the bike rides as well. So if you come around here, firstly, and I know this isn't unique to the Say It Mo, but you've got a little thing here for your shopping bags, which I've used a couple of times. I put my house keys on here earlier today. That's nice and nifty. And then when you look up on the controls here, amazingly, this little Mo actually comes with three driving modes. So if I switch it on here, hold the brake down, turn it on. The beep says I now have power. If I click this button here, I cycle through from sport through to city through to eco mode. Now, say it claims up to 89 miles of range and that range will depend on which mode you're in as well as of course how you ride the thing. In eco mode, the battery isn't fully charged. We currently have 60 miles of claimed range. In city mode, we still have 47 miles of range. And in sport, we have 37 miles of range. But crucially, this does have regenerative technology on the back axle. So even though you've got a mileage counter up there, you can reduce your energy usage if you're really efficient with coming on and off the power, letting the moped coast down hills. There's a little bar on the screen which shows you when you're using power or when you're generating power for the battery. So it's quite fun to see that your mileage isn't affected by your usage as much as you would have thought. And before I forget, there's also two USB ports down here. That's more than you get in some cars. So USB ports and all of that tech and those features, it's all very good, like this thing already, but what's it like to ride? Oh, hang on. If you're not into two wheels, don't forget we sell cars and many of them are electric. So make sure you check out cinch.co.uk if you really want to cinch it with something tasty like this motor here. Now, uh, this mo off the line is bloody quick. It's so nippy. 
you're constantly looking down and making sure you're keeping to the 30 mile an hour speed limits and the 20 mile an hour speed limits when they kick in. So it's it's a properly, properly nippy machine. And obviously, because the electric torque is produced instantaneously, you just rock it off the line. But my God, it is so much fun to ride. Because the, the motor and all of the important stuff's right on the back of the bike, it does jiggle around, especially on the rear, but it's not firm. And, and of course, you know, London's roads aren't particularly great, so it's not exactly the moped's fault that it has to contend with all this rubbish. Yeah, so as you can see, look down at the screen here, you can see the bars have changed now. Basically, that, that's the regen happening. So basically, as I was on the power there, it's the rear wheel where the motor is, essentially is, is capturing the energy as you brake or come off the power. Even on a little thing like this, you can actually recapture some energy like you can on most cars now. Oh yeah, and of course, um, this being an e-moped, you can, you can zip around and, and get through traffic quite safely. And uh, yeah, you can use the bus lanes that you can um, on motorbikes, the bus lanes that allow you to anyway. Um, it's got the same rules, of course, as a normal motorbike, so you can zip into the bus lanes like I am here and get through the traffic, help yourself filter through. And because you've got that instant torque as well, you're not very wobbly when you pull away, sometimes on mopeds and things like that, but if they're a bit sluggish to pull away. But this thing, you just zip straight up. <laughs> So, say it Mo, that was a lot of fun. Nippy around town beats pretty much everything away from the lights. And of course, at 5,800 pounds, there aren't many cheaper ways to feel smug on a new electric vehicle. Given that this is say it's first attempt at an electric moped, it's a really good one, albeit with a few slightly annoying quirks. But I love it overall, and I don't really want to give it back. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We've got so many cars coming up. And if I can get on any more of these, maybe a few e-mopeds as well. See you soon.